on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today we are finally working back on the 2019 Camaro SS and we are going to be working with specifically these throttle bodies remember uh, if you guys watched my previous video I showed you guys a little sneak peek of the what we we're gonna do with the throttle body and if you keep stay tuned to this video I'm gonna try to help you guys pick which throttle body you should go with to get the most performance and best overall experience with. All right guys, so if you guys remember from my last video, if you saw part of my last video, you'll notice that we introduced two new throttle bodies that we're gonna be trialing on the Camaro. Now, just to, for those that are new to the channel or might not know, this is my 2019 Camaro SS and it has a Rotofab dry air intake filter, long tube headers from Speed Engineering with the Speed Engineering off-road X-pipe, so no catalytic converters, and flex fuel kit from Lethal Garage. So the car has ran a best of an 11.6 at 121 and we're hoping that but i'm doing a couple more modifications we can break into the 11 fives or lower and one of those things of course is this throttle body here and manifold now today we're going to be focusing on the throttle body and that is because we're going to be replacing the stock 89 millimeter throttle body with one of these guys these are two different brands of the LT5 ZR1 95 millimeter throttle body. So these are much bigger than the stock one. And not only that, but they have also been ported and modified for better increased performance. So here on the right guys, we've got a ported throttle body. Um, as you can see, everything has been smoothed out. There's no ridge, no lip and opened up some all the way to the edge around and this is a throttle body ported by prey performance um and is, is this one uh very proven prey if you guys don't know with the six gen camaros has very proven times and modifications uh specifically where with the sports shop so very interested to see how this does and then the newcomer to the block is this one, which is a very radical and unique design. Um, this is a solar performance, 100 millimeter effective, 95 millimeter ZR1 throttle body. And it is very, very unique. As you guys can see, it isn't as ported around the edge or the lip. As you guys can see, there's still a lot of material here where the prey performance really grinds that down earth at least smooths that out um so it doesn't have that but it does have these three cutouts along with some cuts in the blade itself so the blade itself has also got some cuts if you can see that there and of course they grind down the middle bar as you can see and make it as flat as possible on both sides and use flathead screws to completely get that as flat as possible and they claim as you guys can see there in their engraving that by reducing this centerpiece out you basically get a hundred millimeter effective uh, throttle body opening um, and it's the backside they've also polished micro polished everything so that it's very slippery and smooth um, definitely on the hand porting um, I will say I can feel kind of it, it it feels a lot slipperier a little smoother on this I believe this is machined and so a machine can do this get this super fine and super smooth to very precision so it does feel smoother um, this does feel smoother as I'm sliding compared to this um, it feels a lot smoother but of course we need to try all these out and show you guys the data to see which one of these is better. What I want to do is I want to put one of these in, load up. We do have a new tune to accommodate for the extra airflow of the 95 millimeter throttle bodies here. So we're going to load up the new tune 
and we're gonna put one throttle body on and then just go for a drive um we're gonna go to the, get a few pulls in on the street to get that wide open throttle and see just how much airflow and the manifold absolute pressure um we see from the sensors we'll start off with the prey performance one first and we'll install that and load up the tune and go for a drive data log and then come back look at those uh, and, and then take that off and put in the new solar performance one I will reflash the tune to make sure that there's no relearns or anything like that I want to keep this as fair as possible uh, so I'll reflash the same exact tune um, so the computer is fresh and reset and we'll go take a drive and, and get the data logs of that and then we will compare both data logs now another quick disclaimer here guys solar performance did give me a discount for this one um, they sell these for $535 for a brand new one already ported or you can get your stock one stock 95 millimeter ported for $335 and they sent me a whole brand new one already ported for the price of sending in your own so they did give me a discount for trying this product and doing a video but again like I said we're gonna make sure that the data shows all the results uh, this one from prey this prey sells for about four hundred and seventy five dollars i believe or four ninety five um so they're very very close in price um so it just a matter of which one's going to perform better and hopefully one is a clear winner here guys one other thing guys is i had to buy this ict billet throttle body adapter plate um for the solar performance uh, because these ZR1 throttle bodies have the hole placement slightly different than the LT1 stock manifolds and as you guys can see the prey performance can actually modify the throttle body so that you can fit it uh, without issues so if you buy from prey you don't need this adapter um, and they're able to fit it just right on there and work without any issues the solar one requires uh, an adapter um, or you could probably get send it out locally and have these holes opened up more like the way prey did and get that on but we're gonna for the sake of this evenness and everything we're gonna put this plate on both so we're gonna use this plate for both throttle bodies guys so look at how easy this is guys so we just basically i loosened up this outer ring the one that goes into the throttle body and i loosened up this ring and completely just move this elbow out of the way and gives you a bunch of space this throttle body is put in like so and there are four 10 millimeter bolts um, and then the connector is right here and that one has this gray clip that you got to push back and push in and back out and that comes out very easily so super simple now let's go ahead and compare this throttle body to these look at the difference guys that is such a massive difference um this is an 89 millimeter and that is a 95 millimeter ported version and my goodness that is insane wow uh did not expect such a dramatic difference between the two um definitely definitely should be see some amazing performance gains and you can also kind of see here um just kind of how gm does theirs and really reduces and brings the necking down here uh this lip here is actually completely reduced and kind of beveled out beveled out here you kind of have somewhat of a lip here but it's reduced much more and even more with these cuts reliefs on the solar um again they've got the whole channel open on even the prey performance one has this thing non-ported and of course the solar performance has the cutout in there so the ict billet throttle body adapter plate doesn't come with instructions but as you guys can see it comes with all new bolts and you it's got these flush mount holes here where you're going to be using the little hex bolts that you see here and those will mount into this stock position as you guys can see there's already an o-ring here and it comes with a secondary o-ring that we're going to put in on the outside for the throttle body so let's go ahead and install this and show you guys what that looks like 
Okay, so as you guys can see, we've used the flathead hex screws in, and the bracket, this adapter plate comes with a like paper performance gasket. You definitely want to put that here behind on the back side because as you guys can see, the green o ring is pretty close to the edge here. You don't want to have anything leaking and so that paper gasket com helps keep that in place and help make sure that nothing leaks and as you guys can see i mean the opening here definitely um if once we go with like an msd ported throttle body we should see a lot better opening here it's going to be reduced slightly with this stock non-ported uh intake manifold but it should still flow a lot better now, also guys, since we have the throttle body open, I wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity to show you guys again why it's so important to have a catch can. I've driven 3,000 miles and there is nothing. It's super clean. The whole intake, internal intake is super clean. I mean, you can just see how there is nothing. My finger is clean, wiped super clean. Um, so the valves and everything behind i am assuming is just as clean as that guys if you didn't have a catch can then all the blow by and all the stuff coming from the crankcase would just go right into that intake and you would see all the oiliness over you know a few hundred miles and maybe even five ten thousand miles so can't stress it enough guys catch can you need it Alright guys, so after doing the testing and showing kind of the compared results guys, let's go ahead and start, start with the Prey Performance Throttle Body. So the Prey Performance Throttle Body was able to peak out at about 2,900 pounds per hour or, or so, 2,900 exact. The Solar Performance was 2,864. So you had a difference of 36 pounds per hour, which is a really really small percentage I think it's like a third of a percent or something like that it's super super small so both of them worked really well the biggest difference I will say just from those short drives guys has got to be the partial throttle response now like I mentioned during the drive the solar performance felt like I had a throttle controller uh, it was nice and twitchy not overly twitchy, very, not very sensitive, but it was a lot more sensitive when I would give it gas. Um, so that felt really good, especially for the majority of the driving that we're going to be doing. I was very impressed with that. I really, really liked that. Now, the Prey Performance one also felt lighter, but it didn't feel as light during partial throttle, during those like light tap accelerations uh, from stop and go. Um, it still felt really good. I'm sure it's uh, much more, what much better over stock. But on the car, I noticed the solar performance one a lot more. Um, so I think, honestly, I, I'm not going to tell you guys buy the solar over the Prey performance one. But I will say that the solar one does live up to its claims and its gains of having that great partial throttle response that first 20 to 30 percent response it feels very twitchy very nice i'm really really excited and glad that i could actually feel that and notice that um you know sometimes they people companies claim things and you don't even notice it or you can't feel it and this you can definitely notice it um so personally i will probably stick with the solar performance version just because of that day-to-day -day part throttle initial tip in um, that seems to be what I need more help in as well at the track. That initial transition from you know idle to wide open throttle. 
I think the solar performance is going to help me there more than the prey performance throttle body. But the prey performance one does show to flow just that ever more than the solar performance did. So basically they both work well and I would recommend either or. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. But I will say this, if you are wanting something for more daily driving, for that part throttle initial tip in response, the solar performance is gonna be the one to go with. Um, and, but if you're looking for all out performance and you want that eek out that ever so slightly extra out of your stuff, then Prey would probably be the one to go with. Um, I think they're both gonna perform pretty much the same at the track. So it's gonna be interesting to see. I think later on if we can, if I can make it to the track next week, I will try to go and I'm gonna take my stock throttle body and run it with the stock throttle body on the stock tune for the stock the tune for the stock throttle body and then I'll switch over to the ported throttle body on the new tune and see how well it does and show you the comparisons between the old tune and the new tune. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course the throttle body's on and it's looking great and I'm super happy. I can't wait to get the final and last bolt-on piece that I can do myself and that is of course the MSD intake. That's a little bit more pricier and we'll just have to wait for that one. Um, but in the meantime, I'll enjoy this and I'll enjoy that response at part, at part throttle and all that. And I'll probably be selling the Prey Performance so if any of you guys that have six gens are interested, my Prey Performance throttle body will be up for sale. Um, but just like that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.